But that's how these brookies work. They just pull up. That was a nice one. Is that your first eye with Brook? Yeah. Dude. Way to go. That is a dimey fish. That's a great brookie, man. Oh, dude. That was on the humpy. Yo, this is such a cool fish. Look at his tail. I did not know there were browns in here. What the fuck? What the? You got a pretty nice bird this year. Were you pretty happy with that one? Yeah, it's a good bird. And I knew he was in the area. That's the taste. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those uh, those guys are pretty cool. Steal that head. But that's how these brookies work. They just pull up. That was a nice one. Yeah, that was a nice one. Well, and that's how it goes. Is you keep going upstream. There's like four holes, five maybe, that are like really good. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that, but Mr. Blake has hiked his way down and is targeting this pool of really, really active brookies. Fingers crossed we can break the skunk here early at the first hole, so let's see if he can make it happen. Just like that. Coming in clutch, the first dry fly bite of the morning. That is a dimey fish. That's a great brookie, man. Is that your first eye with Brook? Yeah. Dude, way to go. Can I get some big fishing? Yes, sir. That? Boom! That is so sick. First run of the day on a freaking nice brookie. What we get him on? Yeah, so we call him on a yellow humpy here, just a uh, dry fly pattern. They were running that moss line back there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but. We caught them rising there along that little back moss line and one drift and he was gone. Easy as that. Skunk is off for Blake. Yes, sir. <laughs> Way to go, man. Thanks. Who needs coffee on a beautiful morning when you can just uh, get a little get a little nice cold cold rush? Tell them what happened, man. <laughs> uh, went to release that last brook trout and let's just say the old uh, waders have a nice little blowout in them that we were unaware of until we took Yikes. a knee. That's a chilly morning. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily it's spring and not winter anymore. Amen. I'm never in Is that a toad? Dude, that's the, yeah. those, are, those are the first toads I've heard all year. Decent fly. Oh, there we go. Oh, buddy, that's a good fish. Yo, this is a good fish. You want to bring it to me or do you yeah, yeah, got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bring him. Bring him a little bit. Dude, he's fighting like a dick. And... That's a fun fish. That's a really good rookie. I'm trying to blow it out. Oh, dude, is that a brown? You got to be shitting me. I did not know there were browns in here. What the f what the? Iowa DNR, y'all are f***ing up. <laughs> no wonder it fought so hard. Ignore my Parkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realize they had browns here. That's my that's my first brown trout here ever. That's cool, but not the best sign. I hope they don't uh, start out competing the, the natives. Do you have any smaller dries? Uh, I got plenty. I was going to say, they're acting like you're something smaller than what you're throwing. Doing all, one, two, switcheroo, what do you say? All right, let's see if they'll, let's see if they'll eat this gnat. Or midge, as it might be known. I think that worked. Dude, that's a, that's a pretty fish. That is right where you want it, folks. That is very nice. And there we go, that is my first native wild brookie of the day. These brookies are super special, and we'll, we'll go into that just a little bit later in the video, but for now, let's get this guy back in the drink. That's part of being the um, discount warrior. Yeah. <laughs> I got a big, uh, I got a big uh, trip planned to the, have you ever heard of the Gila? Yeah. Oh, really? Um, well, that's where I, that's where I'm gonna go. That's my first like big trip down there is to hit the Gila. Well, 
mid mid conversation of trips to come, and I got on another little little brookie boy here. We noticed they were eating something a little bit smaller, so Blake and I decided to switch up, go with the crystal midge instead as our bottom dry fly, and it results in a beautiful wild native brookie. That's so sick. Let's see him back. I guess this is kind of, um, I want to say by getting out faster. Oh, that's dude, sick. that was on the humpy. Damn, dude, this is a good fish. <laughs> Yo, this is such a cool fish. Look at his tail. Zoom in on that shit. That is so cool. This is this is quite possibly one of my best brookies really ever here in the Driftless. This is this is such a nice fish. We'd already pulled two out of this run, and uh, he was way way up in the riffle stuff and just smacked it. Woo. All right, I think it's time. Get him back. The white fins are amazing. The white tips, man. Oh my god. Oh, they're playing with you. <laughs> that was a good one that came up. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Day trout <laughs> He's walking the dog. He's just walking the dog home. Oh, he says, psych. Wow. That is gorgeous. Woo. No way you got him. Nope. Nope. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a nice one out of there. They're, they're going up like gangbusters, man. That's yeah. super sick. Day of the ride. Fishy knock. No. Boom. Dude, come come over here and hug this thing. This thing is fucking huge. Yeah, yeah, like just for perspective, like that is a that is a big freaking tree. I'd like to shake the hand of the beaver that did that damage. I mean that's dedication. Yeah. Well, Blake and I have found ourselves a nice piece of shade. The sun is getting high in the sky, and the fish are being a little bit more picky. We're having trouble getting on the consistent dry fly bite that we were having this morning, but that's just par for the course. But this is a great spot to sit down and do a little bit more explaining as to why this river is so cool and why the brookies are very, very special. For those of you who aren't aware of the native range of the brook trout, they go as far east as Canada, all the way up north, and into Georgia, the Appalachians, and this, Iowa, is its furthest western native range, at least in the United States. I mean, you got them out in Colorado, you got them all over the Mountain West, but as far as native brook trout range, this is as far west as it goes, and this little stream was found by the Iowa DNR like years and years and years ago, kind of a forgotten gem, so to speak, and there's a, a remnant population of the genetically pure native wild brookies in this spot that they now use, the Iowa DNR, they use as the brood stock for stocking other streams in the area that have been kind of repopulated by your rainbows and your browns and whatnot. So coming to a place like South Pine Creek and being able to fish this amazing easement that's pretty well managed, it's an awesome, awesome trip. And get on those little those little meadow munching brookies is a lot of fun. So if you want to do a little do a little uh, check off the old box, get a cool little ribbon of, of uh, I did this or I accomplished furthest western native range of the brookies. Come on down. They're swimming and they're munching. So we're probably going to move upstream here a little bit more. Sun's getting high, so we might have to start thinking about plan B, but maybe we could get one or two more before it's all over. Well, Blake and I just uh, learned a lesson in uh, stagnant water. There are so many fish just stacked. I mean, big brookies and monstrous proportion browns. Like I, what, what would you say? Biggest brown you've ever seen? Oh yeah. Just okay. insane. That, that You don't see fish like that every day. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. They're still going. They're still just going crazy. That's a fish. That's what we're looking for. I thought he was much bigger than that. Well, that's what we've been grinding for this <laughs> afternoon. We've been working for those bad boys. My son's killing us. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Still got him, though. See you, sir. Keep going. 
Good stuff. Yes, sir. Boom. Oh, yes, dude. Yeah, dude. David Prime Brookies, man. What do you think yes, of sir. that? Um, wasn't expecting to find a midday shroomer bite of all things today. All righty, show the folks at home what you got that bad boy on. The fly all season special mini oh, meat whistle. Is that a? That's a mini meat whistle. That's a. That's a newer model. That's a nice <laughs> one there. Fresh off the vice. Thanks. <laughs> got out of your box directly. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is super, super deep, and it's creating a really big beaver pond from a really impressive dam. Good job, beavers. Way to go. How did that just happen? <laughs> With that. He's a red eye. Damn. That's a specimen. You gotta love the little guys. Take, take them when you get them. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, there he goes. goes. Oh, yeah, there. Going. See ya, buddy. Oh, they've been few and far between this afternoon. Boom, oh, another one. You can see the big one. These ones are just getting in the way. Yeah. T-bone that. You got insurance? <laughs> That's gonna cost you. Sick fish, man. See ya. Dude. I'll get some, uh, I'll get some dishes next to that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that the, the baby? That is Tory Lane. Oh, oh, um. Is that the, uh, uh what's poppin' song? Yeah. Yeah. The remix is pretty, I'll, I'll be honest, it's pretty hard. I that's like what, it. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's from. It's, it's from the remix version of it. Alrighty, folks, I can really feel the sweat starting to pool up. It is a warm one, and I think it's it's time for us to get out of here, skedaddle, and look for a plan B. Overall, really sweet session, small stream action, and something to note, a very big accomplishment is that Blake had his very first brook trout ever. How cool is that? Pretty cool. Um, brook trout aren't very common down in the Ozarks, and been fishing Iowa quite, quite a bit here recently. I hadn't ran into one yet, so. Yeah. It's good morning, <laughs> until that shade burnt off. <laughs> yeah. Dealing with the sun was a big problem. As you guys kind of saw, the bite hit its peak and then just crashed down. We ended up using pretty deep streamers yeah. for the most part, ripping them through the beaver holes, and that was, uh, that was all we could do to muster up a bite. But folks, spring is here and summer is soon approaching. Get out while you still can, while the weeds are still low, and the days are nice and warm. It is such a great time to be out here, and as always, I gotta say, thank you so much to any OG subs, you YouTube folks. I love hearing your comments, all you Instagram, all you on the Discord too. It is always popping over there. I love hearing what you guys have to say. And yeah, I gotta just gotta say thank you. It's 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 really cool to see. But whenever you're making your way to the Iowa Drifts, to South Pine Creek, keep an eye out for them brookies. Keep your feet in the water. Until next time, tight lines.